Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, an introduction to RightScale and GoToandPlay, the company behind SmartFox Server. My name is Alex McClure and I'm a business development manager here at RightScale. During this webinar, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about how you can use RightScale's cloud management platform to easily launch a server in Amazon's EC2 service, fully installed and pre-configured with SmartFox Server. This webinar will only last about 10 minutes, but my goals for today are to give you a better understanding of RightScale, SmartFox Server, how you can create an account on Amazon Web Services and on RightScale. I've also prepared a live demonstration where I'll show you how easy it is to launch this solution in the cloud using RightScale. By the end of the presentation, I hope you'll gain a better understanding of the benefits of using RightScale to launch your SmartFox Server deployments. And finally, I'd like to provide you with our information in case you have any questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Social games and Flash applications are an incredibly hot sector of the market right now, and there is an increasing amount of activity going on. It started with a lot of fantastic scaling events from companies like Zynga and, of course, their Farmville games. Fast forwarding to today, we are working with companies in a highly competitive space. New applications are being developed on almost a daily basis, and so the needs that we see from our customers are fairly consistent. Infrastructure providers like Amazon Web Services provide an incredible array of infrastructure services. You can literally gain instant access to computing and storage resources with only a credit card. RightScale is a cloud management platform. We provide tools that help companies scale on the cloud and leverage their infrastructure as a service provider. We've been doing it for quite some time, in fact, almost since day one with Amazon. We're proud that we've launched and managed over 2.6 million servers and are the largest management platform behind the largest cloud deployments in the world. Our design methodology is important in the context of what I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So to touch briefly upon that, we use an approach that we call server templates. It's similar but a little bit different than how you've been working with uh, Amazon machine images. You can think of server templates as playlists. And these playlists are server definitions that abstract the underlying machine image. In other words, server templates give you the ability to create and define recipes for servers that can be deployed across any cloud, uh, such as Amazon's US East, US West, uh, Singapore, Tokyo, all of the different AWS regions. These server templates come from not only RightScale, but also our ISV partners like SmartFox. They give you the ability to import a pre-configured server template configuration to easily get started. Before I show you just how easy it is to do that though, I want to highlight some of the key features of SmartFox Server. SmartFox Server is a comprehensive platform for rapidly developing massive multi-user applications and games using Adobe Flash, Flex, Air, Android, etc. It was developed with simplicity in mind, allowing developers to quickly create any type of multiplayer interaction from basic chat applications to complex real-time games and MMOs. The SmartFox Server 2X Community Edition is the ideal tool for anyone to evaluate and get started with one of the most sophisticated multiplayer frameworks available. Using the SmartFox Server 2X Community Edition server template, you'll be able to evaluate the product as long as you wish, develop your own projects, and put them into production. So now let's get started with a short demonstration. First, I want to show you where you can sign up for a free AWS account and a free RightScale account. Once you sign up for RightScale, I'll show you how you can browse our multi-cloud marketplace and find the SmartFox server server template to import into your environment. From there, I'll show you how to launch a server uh, that you uh, configure yourself, and then how you can uh, gain access to that server and gain access to the SmartFox server administration panel. So with that, let's get started with the demo. The first step is to sign up for a free RightScale account. You can do that by going to rightscale.com and clicking on Get Free Edition. 
This will ask you for some of your information. That gets you started with Rightscale. Once you actually log in, you'll need to provide your Amazon Web Services credentials. In other words, you'll need to have an Amazon Web Services account before you get started with Rightscale. To do that, you go to aws.amazon.com and click on the Create an AWS Account tab at the top. If you have an Amazon.com account, you have an Amazon Web Services account. So it's very easy to get started and signed up. From there, after you've created a Rightscale account, the next step is to browse our multi-cloud marketplace and search for the SmartFox server solution. From here, you can import this server template directly into your Rightscale account. So I talked earlier about how server templates are similar to uh, recipes or collections of executable scripts. To expand on that a little bit more, what you see in the server template is a collection of scripts that install monitoring tools, install SmartFox server, and some operational scripts that actually start and restart the SmartFox server services sitting on the machine. Uh, you'll see that this supports uh, the Ubuntu operating system, both a 64 and 32-bit version. You'll see that the server template is supported across multiple clouds. And you'll also see additional information that was published by SmartFox server. From here, the next step is to add this to a deployment. A deployment within RightScale is a collection of servers that are logically grouped together. So I'm going to add this to the AWS Singapore cloud. You'll see that it's asking me to customize my launch configurations. I'm going to choose a 32-bit platform. I'm also going to choose an m1.small instance type. I configure my security group, which I've pre-configured and predefined as being a SmartFox server 2x a security group. And from clear here, I click on the Add button, and this will add it to my deployment. Now I skim by the security uh, group configuration rather quickly. What I did in that security group is I uh, configured the protocols, the ports, and the IP, IP addresses that will have access to my SmartFox server uh, instance. So what you'll see is, is happening now is I've imported the server template into my library. I've gone ahead and launched a server uh, from the server template. And now that it's in my deployment, I need to actually run the server. By clicking on the play button, I can configure more parameters that are specific to the SmartFox server application. From here, I can click launch. And what's happening now is the RightScale Cloud Management Platform is starting a server within Amazon Singapore region, and it's executing the scripts that were defined in the server template. Now, for the sake of time, I've already gone ahead and have a server running for the last hour. You'll see that Amazon gives me a public IP address. I need that public IP address in order to log into the SmartFox server administration tool. So by copying this public IP address directly into my browser and going to port 8080, I can then gain access to the administration tool. From here, I can launch the admin panel for SmartFox server. When it asks for the host, I type in the IP address. The username and password are SmartFox server admin. And from here, I can connect. 
you'll notice that I'm using the default password and it's suggesting that I change my password to make my server more secure. So from here, to give you a quick overview of the SmartFox server administration panel, you'll see some statistics and usage uh, that's going on on my actual server. Things like the actual threads that are running, my CPU utilization, my memory usage. From here, I also have different administration modules that I can use uh, to administrate my SmartFox server instance. I can do things like monitoring uh, the specific zones, for example, different lobbies or chats. I can administrate the different bands that I have by users and IP addresses. And I can also configure my server and all of the specific settings for my SmartBox server instance directly from the administration tool. Some common questions that we've been asked, uh, going back to the presentation now, are how much does this cost? Uh, this is available to free RideScale developer accounts as well as to our premium accounts. And since this is the community edition of SmartFox Server, it's also provided for free. Uh, you will have to pay the underlying AWS infrastructure costs, and those prices are available on the Amazon Web Services website. And finally, what version of SmartFox Server is this? It's the SmartFox Server 2X Community Edition. I hope you found this presentation useful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at ridescale.com or you can email us at sales.ridescale.com. If you have any questions about SmartFox Server, feel free to email us at info at smartfoxserver.com. Thanks for listening.